Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today we're making something I love through all of my life. It's something sweet, and in Swedish it's called araxboll, or punchboll, or rumboll. It's basically a, I would call it probably a pastry. So we're not baking, we're not cooking, we're making pastry today. And it's a ball flavored with either arak, which is a, a spirit from the coconut flour, or with rum, um, you all know rum, or you can also flavor it with punch, it's like a Swedish liqueur. But we're flavoring it today with arak. But before we have a look at the board, please do me a huge favor. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon. Like that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes online. But now let's have a look. So we have our chocolate sprinkles, they are just for decorating. Here we have 500 grams of old cakes, well both cakes and I don't know what you call it, sponge cake. So cookies and sponge cake basically. We have two deciliters of um, powdered sugar. Now the recipe is in kind of grams and deciliters. That's because it's an old recipe that my mom used to make, so I haven't transferred it into all by weight. We have 150 grams of butter. Now I prefer salted butter because I like the little bit of saltiness to, to something sweet. We have a tablespoon of cocoa powder. We have two teaspoons of vanilla sugar. We have a cherry. It's been in some sugar liquid. That's also decoration. We have oats, a deciliter, and we have our arak. That's about two tablespoons. And that's what we need to make this. We also need something else for decorating, and that's some nice buttercream. Now, I made buttercream in advance, and I'll show you how we did that. Here is what we need for our buttercream. We have two egg yolks, 100 grams of sugar, and 100 grams of butter. It's important that the butter is at room temperature, so it's already a bit soft. Now you can make buttercream many different ways. The easiest way is just butter and powdered sugar. But I like this way a bit better. You kind of make a meringue first, and then you mix the butter into that. Um, and we're making almost an Italian meringue. We're going to melt the sugar um, and whisk it in to the egg whites melted. So let's start with that. Just put this on the stove. You don't want it to color, you just want it to melt. And in the meantime, we'll get the bowl ready and our hand whisk, the electric hand whisk. While the sugar is melting, we can already whisk our egg whites. So I see when that's done, because it's loud. So we'll leave it at that stage. Let's see what our sugar is doing. Now what we'll do is we'll pour a little bit of water in this. Like so. So as you can see, it's come to a boil. Now we'll add this slowly to the egg whites. That's enough for us. I can never resist this. And now we have to whisk in the butter. I'm not doing that as fast because then it's going to go everywhere. And now all we need to do is cool this. And that's our buttercream. As you can see, very easy. But I'll put this back into the fridge and then we'll set up our kitchen machine and then we'll get going. Everything is set up. We put our sponge cakes and cookies in first. And we'll just make these small. And now, I mean, you don't need a machine like this to make it. You can make it by hand. But I'm a little bit lazy today. And this is quite easy. You just put everything in at once. So our sugar, our oats, vanilla sugar and cocoa powder, and our warm 
well, not warm, but room temperature butter. So the only thing we haven't put in yet is the arak. And we'll do that later once we have kind of a dough. And now we just pulse this. So I'll see you once it's done. Like that. And now it's time for the arak. And we can just pour that in. Let's check the consistency. For me, this is perfect. So we're gonna get this out of the bowl. And now we can just kind of grab it with our hands, put it in another bowl. And it's time to cool it now before we shape it and then roll it in the sprinkles. So we cool down our dough. Now this is completely up to you, the size. But I would say I like a diameter of maybe or could that be five centimeters, something like that? That's a nice portion. So you roll it up and then you roll it in here. Now, some people like to dip this in chocolate as well before. I'm not a big fan of this. This is how I grew up eating them. Well, not a big fan, it's not the truth either. I like the chocolate ones too, but I prefer them like this. And then just put them on another plate. And that's basically it. Now, once you've done rolling these, we'll put them back in the fridge. But I'll see you in a second once we've coated all of these with the sprinkles. And there we have our last one. So this amount gave us six good sized balls. We'll put them in the fridge, let them cool down, and then we'll serve this up. So we have everything we need. We have our Arax ball, we have our buttercream, and we have our cherry. So we're gonna serve this up, but before we do that, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, only takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me to get the content out there in the YouTube universe and hopefully make more people happy. But now, let's get this going. So we choose one of our balls. And some buttercream on top. And, as they say, the cherry on top. Now that's it. Let's begin. Now, you can eat this with your hands. At least I'm gonna take the cherry with my hands. Now, that's nothing special. It's just it was always served to me that way in my childhood. But now let's dig into the proper thing here. Mm. This to me is heaven, it's childhood, it's good memories, and it's probably one of my favorite baked goods from Sweden. And you see a lot of different recipes for this online. I think what makes this a bit different from them is I use less cocoa powder, you see it's brighter. I don't dip it in chocolate, and of course I serve it with buttercream and cherry. Mm. And now if you can't get a hold of arak, you can always use, as I said, rum or a Swedish punch. And if you don't want to use the alcohol version, which I think is great, but if you don't want to use alcohol, there's these um, essences of, for instance, rum that you can use that gives the same taste, but without the alcohol. If I died right now, I would still be very happy. Well, I hope I don't die. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed my Arax ball, or punch ball, or rum ball. Try it out for yourself if you have a sweet tooth. If you don't, leave it because it's quite sweet. But I'm sure you will enjoy it if you enjoy kind of this type of patisserie. As I said, before we go, don't forget, 
subscribe, check the bell icon, and leave a comment. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.